Really? Yes. Well, I could give it a beating. <laughs> Y'all need something else to do today, right? <laughs> so, this is definitely necessary when test driving some major project. Whether it's a hot rod, this kind of it is a hot rod, street rod, whatever. Yeah, we got a fire extinguisher. Hope it doesn't catch on fire, but it does. I'm going to put it out. We have exhaust on it now. It's still loud, but it's not as loud as it was the other day when we started with just the open manifolds. Man, it runs Chris. This is going to be awesome. drawback of these trucks is always they were so underpowered they were 185 horsepower and they are heavy heavy but they ride great they drive great they're like a Cadillac this is literally the Cadillac of Jeeps back in the day when these were so popular this is the thing to have but this thing rides and drives great we've got the hydro boost on the brakes it stops really well when you're sitting in a light it's got that certain rumble there it's like what is going on with that What's great about these supercharged and fuel injected motors though, you got 700 horsepower. If you had 700 horsepower of a normally aspirated or like a carbureted motor, if you will, I mean, it would just be jumping all over the place. The truck's not even moving, but it will when you want it to. Jumped a railroad track. Handled it quite well. That is so much fun. <laughs> the zero to 60 is brutal. So imagine rolling up next to a guy in his uh, Lamborghini or Ferrari or whatever on the tollway and romping this thing. Pretty awesome. Well, I know it'll smoke the tires because it did the first time I pulled it out. Well, let's, let's see what we got. showed you uh, in the past the uh, it's kind of a dark corduroy colored one beautiful truck we'll start on that in the next couple weeks we just about got this dialed in uh, I want to get some thanks out there to Ron Davis he built us a killer custom radiator for this thing really saved the build fits in perfect didn't have to do a whole bunch of cutting on the grill and stuff and we don't have very many Hellcrates left so if one of you guys are thinking about doing something with the custom with the Hellcat motor you need to call us pretty soon this is pretty impressive. I mean, this is literally the first time I've driven this. And to have this many bugs worked out of it just right off the bat is, is outstanding. My guys are great. Way to go, Chris and Colin. Brutal. <laughs> that is so much fun. We usually test our big bills like this for a lot of miles the last two jails we did with hellcat motors we put a thousand miles on them so we'll put at least 500 miles on this thing bring it back in check everything out put another 500 miles on it then it'll be ready for the customer so the hell wagon should be for sale soon if you're interested go to social at cbjeep.com say hey i'm interested in the hell wagon or if you want to send yours in we're also ready to try a six four hemi swap in the uh, grand wagoneer and we're also thinking about taking the 3.6 Pentastar motor with the 8-speed automatic and putting it in one and see how it handles it. It's 285 horsepower, which, 
you know, the factory motors are only 185 horse. So we're getting creative with these Grand Wagoneers. They're such a beautiful truck. It's just a drivetrain was always just the, the wing leak in them. So there you have it. This thing is freaking awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please like, tag, share, and follow so everybody can see the L Wagon.